Hello, chain breakers. So I was just thinking about how the narcissist is a trickster. The narcissist is a shyster. The narcissist is a con, con artist. Uh, the narcissist is a scammer. The narcissist is a magician. All right, that's what they specialize in. That is what they do. The narcissists uh, must fool you. And they fool you uh, by smoke and mirrors. They fool you by pretending. They fool uh, people by pretending to be people that they are not, okay? And in order for the narcissist to be successful, they must trick you uh, and con you into believing uh, who uh, into the image. That's how they get you. So if you buy into the image, you will be important to the narcissist, all right? But when you stop believing in the narcissist, when you stop believing the lies of the narcissist, they then have no need for you. All right. So once you figure out who they are and you become a threat to them, uh, <laughs> they have no need for you. OK, so the narcissist must convince you. They must convince you that you are the weak one. They must convince you that you are the one with the problem. They must convince you and others that you are the crazy one. That is how they succeed, okay? That is where their power lies. Their power lies in being able to fool people into buying into the image of who they are. And, I've, and, and I talk to uh, clients and different people and uh, they still believe and somewhere inside of them that the narcissist is going to change, that the narcissist is some somehow going to wake up one morning and they're going to be like, hey, I've changed. I'm no longer a scammer. I'm no longer a con artist. The narcissist has perfected their craft. They have had a lifetime of being this way. All right. And a lot of times, a lot of times they are reprobate. And, and the Bible already told us this was going to happen. The, Jesus already said who they were. They are scoffers. OK, they are scoffers. All right. In the last days, when uh, psychology says that there are only two, one, two percent of the population, that is nothing but lies. All right. That is nothing uh, than to get people to buy into uh, the lies. That is a fallacy. That is definitely not true. There are definitely more narcissists um, than, than we would ever imagine, okay? But the narcissist must trick you into believing the lies. And they must trick you into believing that you are the one that you are the crazy one, that you are the insane one, that you are the one that causes all their problems. The narcissist is nothing more than a magician. They are nothing more than Satan embodied in human flesh, all right? They embody all the traits and characteristics of Satan, all right? And how Satan uh, wins is by getting people by getting you and I into believing their lies. That is where their power lies. If they can trick you, if they can con you, if they can deceive you and manipulate you, all right, into buying into their false image, that is how they win, all right? And they are very successful at this most of the time until someone comes along with discernment, until someone comes along that wants to break the chains. Do you want to break the chains? Do you want to see the narcissist for who they really are? The narcissist, a lot, and some people get roped into this. Oh, the narcissist is just a wounded person. You and I, we all have gone through trauma, but we did not make a choice. We did not make a deal with the devil. We did not make a calculated choice to go follow uh, the enemy. All right, we, we said we're hurt, we're wounded, but we're not gonna make a lifestyle out of conning and deceiving people and, and to tricking people through witchcraft and, and deception and, and pulling people into idolatry. That is not what we made a choice to do. They made a calculated choice, all right? They made a choice to be who they are and their power lies in you uh, believing in, in their false image. 
And then some people, uh, they, they buy into uh, the image. That the narcissists, all of them have a well-calculated image, okay? A well, um, a strategic image. And that, uh, the careers that they go into, the, the lifestyle choices that they make, the partners that they marry, all, everybody that they engage with serve to maintain this image. That's it. That's why it's really nothing personal with them. With them, it is a business decision. All right. They sum you up. They're they're, you know, it's it's like I said, the Terminator. It's like do 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 they're sizing you up and they have their crosshairs on you and they are determining if you are adequate supply, if you fit into the image that they are trying to uh duplicate and replicate and maintain. And if you if you show them a sign, if you show them a sign, if you sh if you buy into their sob story of when their mama and daddy hurt them, all right, and if you uh, if, if you show some sort of weakness, then they are going to lock in on you, okay? They are going to lock in on you, and then you will be a part of the circus, all right? Until you make a choice that you are going to get up and get out of that situation until you make a choice to get that Jonah out of your boat, until you stop believing the lies of a lying loser, all right? Because they are Satan personified. And as long as you believe that the image that they have portrayed, you will continue to be, to fall prey to narcissists. And until you sit with God and ask him to, to really work on you from the inside out, all right, you will continue to follow along this path and you will attract narcissists after narcissists after narcissists. And that is not what we want. We don't want that for you. You don't want that for yourself, I hope, okay? But you must get to the root uh, of, of why you believe the narcissists, okay? Why you believe the lies. Because at some point, uh, I believe the lies, all right? And it's only when you come out of, of that agreement, it's only when you start believing the narcissists for who they really are, not for the image that they have tried uh, to, to maintain, okay? Because if you do that, they're going to have you hook, line, and sinker every time, all right? So uh, when you sit with God, he'll begin to give you that wisdom and that discernment, and you'll start to pick up on when somebody is trying to get next to you, all right? And the narcissists use a, a slew of tools, all right? They use that flattery. They try to flatter you with that with that uh, slick tongue. They, they try to tell you that, that no one uh, that they don't have a connection like this with anybody, that you're their best friend, you know, that that you're their soulmate, that you are everything that they are looking for. And they will keep you on the line. They will keep you roped in for years and years. And they will keep you in that cycle of abuse, as of abuse, as long as you buy into the lies. Y'all, it's time to wake up. It's time to see the wizard behind the curtain, all right? It's time to see the narcissist for who they really are so you will not continue to be deceived and, and for our chain breaker family who is breaking these chains who are seeing these narcs and slaying them in the spirit kudos to you okay that is what god wants all right but we must continue to armor up we are in a battle the narcissist is not your friend all right i don't care who they come in the in, in physically whoever you see that is not who they are uh, spiritually, okay? So see things with your spiritual eyes and begin to see the narcissist for who they are, all right? They cannot love you. They do not love you. They can only get you to buy into their image. And no matter what career field they are in, no matter uh, uh, what hobbies they pursue, no matter what uh, facade they have tried to, to uh, build and maintain. It is nothing more than smoke and mirrors. It is an illusion, all right? They are master illusionists. They are master magicians, and this is what they do. They get you to buy into magi, into maggie, into witchcraft, into sorcery, all right? That is their goal. All right, y'all, let's break those chains. 
chains. Let's stop believing the lies of a loser. Let's stop and think about who and what these people really are and what they come to do. They did not come to be your friend. They did not come, even, even family, even whoever it is. If they have uh, given themselves over, God has given them over to a delude, to that strong delusion. They are on a mission to kill, steal, and destroy. Let's break those chains. All right, chain breakers, y'all be blessed.